All right. Well, welcome to the call, everyone. And uh, I'm just going to unmute uh, Elizabeth here to see if uh, she can, if she can hear me. Hey. Eliz Elizabeth, can you hear me? All right. I can hear you great, Kurt. How are you? Nice. All right. I'm doing great. Thanks for being on the call. You know what an exciting time uh, in Sizzle. We're seeing so much happening uh, with the new comp plan, with everything that's uh, that that's going on, um, all the great new products that we've had, and and I just know that that. that uh, we're, we're moving forward to make things even better. But uh, tonight yeah. I wanted to share a few testimonials. Um, and, and Elizabeth, I think I'll, I'll start with yours. Uh, the other day when you posted about your daughter, how exciting mm -hmm. is that? She, um, you know, she, she had uh, type 1 diabetic, diabetes for a long time and so mm -hmm. and, and some thyroid issues. So I'm just going to hand it over to you and, and kind of let you tell her story. All right. Um, well, that's actually why we are in sizzle is because of Tara's type 1 diabetes. It really got me to digging in and figuring out what to do about, hold on, i got to get my baby sidetracked here just a sec. Um, the, with her type 1 diabetes, I left the hospital thinking, man, there's got to be more than what the doctors are telling me. So I started digging in and finding as many things as I could to help her with her immune system. And so then when I found Sizzle, I knew exactly what it was as far as how great the products were. And um, then we went forward from there. Tara's actually been taking the products probably for, it's gonna be four years this next June, I think. Um, and I've, always felt that because of the sizzle products she is healthier but it was confirmed by her endocrinologist every time we've gone for the last three years to the endocrinologist um because we'd ended up switching she said tara is not normal she's not normal for a type 1 diabetes diabetic because she doesn't get sick she doesn't have scar tissue she doesn't um have eye problems she doesn't have extreme blood sugars see so because of all of that um she would ask me lots of questions um and um so then after the age pill came out and i'd or even before i'd been paying attention to what tom Maurer said and the, how it worked so i put tara on it as well as my husband and i but because tara has um the blood work done frequently we could also see what it's doing inside of her body she's going to be 20 this next month and even though she's this young um it's been amazing to, to see the little changes in her body with the blood work now tara's tsh had been high and her free t4 had been extremely low and um so then the endocrinologist says, okay, we're watching for, um, oh, is it called Hoshimoto's thyroiditis? Um, so in six months, it's gone down from 5.92, her TSH has, down to 3.32. So it's gone from high down to a normal rate. Um, her T Free T4 has come up only from 0.79 to 0.92, but it is rising. So when the endocrinologist says, well, I don't think we need to do anything extra, you know, we're not definitely not going to put her on anything now as far as the thyroid, um, oh, the, um, what do you call them, extra medication so that has been exciting what i have yeah. a question i have hashimoto's what, what, what? But, you know with what's yeah. going on in you um one of the things that that's come out of harvard is they've actually said that mm -hmm. uh that when you take a look at the at the nicotinamide riboside the nicotinamide mononucleotide which are the um in, some of the main ingredients in the age pill um what it does is it helps number one 
to balance the immune system, but the, those ingredients do. And then number two, once it's balanced the immune system, then, then they found that, that what it does is that these, these ingredients actually help the immune system to actually go back and in a way, repair the tissue that they were that they were that the immune system was damaging and so it's going to be interesting over the course of time to actually see what happens with your daughter's um uh, immune system see what happens with your daughter's uh diabetes to see if it continues to show signs of improvement and and also with her uh, with her pancreas to see will it will it actually do something there um, and and for the the uh, a caller that was asking as far as the you know the Hashimoto's that's exactly how it works. So the age pill helps with that. But then um, you know the body shield it helps to remove the the uh, bad uh, uh, toxins that affect the thyroid. According to the uh, United States uh, EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, way back um, about uh, 20 25 years ago, they came out with a study and they said that. 80% of thyroid disease was actually triggered by env environmental toxins, and uh, and so um, so that's uh, that's the that's the 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 short answer. I can give you more information, but uh, um, that's that's really what's happening. So again, we can't make any claims of medical cures with our product. I'm just repeating what the research has shown, and then with Elizabeth's testimonial, you can see that that what I'm saying is actually is actually um, um, making a difference. So, uh, Elizabeth, thank you for sharing that. Andrea, thanks for taking over when, when my, when my phone got knocked out there. So what I'd like to do, uh, I'm going to go out to, to Margaret Johnson. Um, here's another, uh, great, uh, testimonial that, that we have, uh, uh, Margaret, if you could tell a little bit about what you're seeing, what you're finding. Sure. Um, I started taking the age pill the October 4th. And within a few weeks, I started noticing a big difference in my skin, in the appearance. And then I started noticing um, the pain in my back. I had a, I've had degenerative disc disease for years. And my back in 2016, um, a doctor in Walla Walla, uh, Washington, found, created a whole procedure to fix my lower back and uh, figured I would always have pain. And I always had a lot of arthritis in my back. And over the course of time, it was kind of interesting over the last few months, um, it was like it kind of took me back through the memory of the pain in my back before surgery and then after the surgery and then it disappeared. So I became curious and I had some x-rays done on my back. And I, the uh, radiologist, said that she can't detect any arthritis in my back whatsoever anymore and there's no pain so i that's been a huge blessing you know it's it's just amazing to go from the pain i was in through the years and then after the surgery what was a success but i still had a lot of residual pain that he figured i'd have to just deal with in my life from now on and and it's gone i have no pain in my back whatsoever Wow. And, and not only is it the pain that's gone, but um, from what I was hearing, um, it's actually changing on the on radiographs, on the x-rays. Yes. Before I had a lot of osteoarthritis, <clears throat> which a lot of us have, and then I had the, a spot above the surgery in the thoracic area that they were considering having to go in and fix eventually in the next couple of years. He said he, he can't find any of it. He said, there's no sign of any arthritis in my back or my shoulders. I had shoulder surgery, too, in both shoulders. And he said, there's no arthritis anywhere. It's just, it's gone. Wow. Wow. And, uh, and what, what did he say? What did your surgeon say about that? Well, he was pretty astounded. He, he you know, I talked to him on the phone, and he, he said, it's a pretty amazing. And he says, what have you been doing? I started telling him about the age pills. So, uh, beginning of April, I have an appointment to go over and talk to him about the age bill. He said he's really interested in finding out more about it. And um, he said he couldn't release my x-rays from my back because of the procedure. Hasn't been, he hasn't finished his article about the procedure that he created, so I can't use the x-rays yet. Really? Yeah. Huh, that's did interesting. He, did he well, pay he for them? Huh? <laughs> 
did he pay for them or did you? <laughs> well, that's, it, he said that he hasn't, he, the procedure was brand new. He created the whole procedure. It's never been done in the world, the way he fixed my spine. I understand. And he said until he gets the article out in the medical journal, then I can use those x-rays. Even my primary care person here in Pendleton doesn't have them yet. She said, well, I never did get x-rays. So, but, he, you know, they have verified that there is no more arthritis. And I don't have any more pain in my back. I'm, I'm back to, like, 20 years ago, I can run and chase my grandkids. And it's, it's really great. That's fabulous. Wow. Yeah. I mean, how many people do we know of that have chronic back pain? How many years did you have back pain? Oh, gosh. Um, I was diagnosed with degenerative disc disease and osteoarthritis in 2004. And so it's, you know, it's been quite a while. Yeah, because if you were diagnosed in 2004, that means it had been building up for at least seven years. And so we right. can say that it, it probably started back in the 1990s, right? Yeah, so you've right. Been, you, you've been suffering, you've been suffering from degenerative uh, back disease for 25 to 30 years. And for the arthritis to go away in, in how long of a period of time again? Again, just kind of repeating things so people can get a good idea. Um, I started taking the age pill. Levita and I started taking it October 4th when we got it. And so, you know, and then this month I started taking the trio of, you know, the Fucoidin and the Eternity and the supplement. And I also have a really other thing that's really big to me. I used to work in medicine and I, at, at the laboratory in Pendleton. My hands, I had to back out of medicine at the time because uh, in 91, I suffered a really severe allergy to latex and being gloved up all the time. And that continued. And I found out that the tetracarbamazepine in latex resides in your colon, but I could never get it flushed out or cleared up. I always had spots on my hands that you could see where it would break out over and over and over. And I noticed a few weeks ago, it's all gone. My hands are healed and I have never had another problem with it for this whole last month. So wow. to me, it's flushing out toxins and all kinds of, you know, I mean, it's really, I've got my daughter on it. She suffers from uh, hydrodenitis. I don't know if you know what that is, but um, I started her on the age pill and I've, you know, just been little by little, everybody's going, wow, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you're such a change. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So, wow. yeah, it's really cool to not be in pain and be able to function like you did years ago. And you're having some, you're having some changes in your skin as well, right? Oh, yeah, my skin is wonderful. All my wrinkles have gone away just about. Uh, it's just amazing. I didn't have yeah. a bad complexion, but you know, as you age, I just turned 67 in January. So everybody says it looks like I took 20, 25 years off my life, you know, off my face. It was just nice. amazed. Yeah, it's pretty nice. All right. Well, thanks for sharing that with us, Margaret. I really appreciate that. And thanks for spending your Friday night with us. You know, sure. and, and people ask all the time, they say, well, you know, Kurt, is it real? Is this real? And the answer to it is, is that, you know, if you look at the research again, we can't say it about our product because we're not a scientific research company. You know, we haven't, we haven't spent the gazillion dollars it takes to do scientific research, but we, we research the research and that's the ingredients that we use. And then when Tom makes a product, when Sizzle makes makes a product, what they actually do is they use the therapeutic dosage of ingredients. They use what's recommended in the research. They don't just, you know, like Tom says, we don't just wave the chicken over a pot of boiling water and say, oh, there we have chicken soup. We actually put the, the therapeutic dosage into each and every ingredient that we have, every product that we have. And so when I hear results like this, I just go, wow. And then I got, I got to look at, you know, what's going on and I try and figure out what's going on. And, uh, and so yesterday when I was trying to research, you know, what's going on with Margaret, um, your, your body, what happens is, is that, you know, um, uh, these, these uh, 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 glycated end products, um, what happens is, is that's the, that's the cellular garbage, the lipofusion, that's cellular garbage. It's what's left over when your body burns sugar and fat, there's energy. And, and they normally accumulate, but what happens is, is because of our diets in, in, in North America and really around the world, um, we eat a lot of carbs, we eat a lot of uh, bad fats that maybe aren't as good for us. And, and, and so it, it, it gets into the system, and what it does is it, it damages 
the system and, and it, it makes it so that the body spends all of its energy actually um, trying to uh, repair the, the glycation and lipofusion. And, uh, and so when we take a product like the, the age pill, what it does, it removes these, these glycated end products, it removes the lipofusion, and now your body can take that energy um, that, it, that it's building and it can actually go back and it can do some repair. It can do the repair that it needs to fix things, you know, like the immune system, like we were talking about with Elizabeth. And it can go back and it can do the repair on, uh, on the, the soft tissue, the joint cartilage, and, uh, and things like that, like we're seeing with, with Margaret. So that's just a, a real quick explanation. Um, the actual paper that I read is probably about 10 pages long, um, so I'm not going to go through that. We just don't have enough time for that tonight. But get a hold of me, and I'll get you a copy of that research if you'd like it. Um, but, uh, Margaret, thanks for sharing that with us. I'm going to go uh, right now. We're going to go out to uh, uh, Kathy. Um, and Kathy, she's had some remarkable um, results with her, with her, with her puppy. And, uh, and so, um, uh, Mar or, uh, uh, Kathy, are you with us? I'm here. You Can you hear me? I'm in my car. I apologize. Oh, I hear you loud and clear. Um, thanks for, thanks for jumping on. Thanks for jumping on. And I don't know how, how many months ago was it? Two months ago that, that you and I first spoke about, about your dog? Uh, it was a few weeks before Christmas, maybe end of November, beginning of December. Yeah, yeah. somewhere around that time. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your help for saving my pup's life. But uh, yeah, he has uh, encephalomeningitis, which is an inflammation of his brain and his spine. It was just something quick came on. And of course, you know, they put him on all these medications for my, like this was last May and he had been on these medications up until the end of November, December, and he started regressing. He, uh, I honestly thought we were fixing to lose him. So I reached out to Dr. Kurt and um, we detoxed and we, I just stopped one of his medications and we started detoxing him. And within a couple of days, I really thought he, I thought he was going to go and we were going to wait a week. I think it was Dr. Kurt to start the age pill to try to detox him first. And within like, well, first he hadn't eaten, let me back up a step. He hadn't eaten in what was it like four or five days. He had lost so much weight. And um, within a day of starting the detox, he was eating out of my daughter's hand. And then within like three, two or three days, he was eating out of the bowl again. But before that, he hadn't eaten like four or five days. Start, I mean, and then I'll go back forward. We, um, we, then after a couple of days of the detoxing, he start, kind of started regressing back to like the symptoms, <clears throat> the symptoms he had in the beginning, like his back legs were kind of dragging a little bit. So I reached out to you and said, can we go ahead and try the age pill? Like at that point, you know, I just was like desperate. And he was like, well, I really wanted to detox him for a week, but let's go ahead. If you really feel like you need to, to give him the age pill, give it to him. Within two hours of giving him that first pill, he was walking different. Within three days, he was running up and down the stairs. Within three days? Him. Within three days, he was running up and down the steps. Uh, we live on the, se on the second floor of an apartment building. Yes, running up and down the steps. And um, actually, I think that might have, after... I think he might have been on the age pill for maybe three weeks, and I had a follow-up appointment with his neurologist, his best neurologist, and I wasn't going to take him, but I wanted her to see him because he was, he was different. He was, the, I mean, he was the best I think I'd ever seen him, even before he got sick. I mean, he was the liveliest, most energetic dog. And when I took her, took him for his follow-up appointment, he was not happy. And he was not happy. And he wasn't happy his, because he was going back to the doctor, huh? Because of because I had taken him off the medicine. That she wasn't happy about that. But that was the first uh, follow-up appointment he had ever had. He came back out to me and told me he was perfect. He was perfect. He was perfect. Like, 
everything they did with him, he responded. He played with them. He chased the ball. He did everything where any other appointment he had ever been to that he did not respond to a lot of the uh, things that they did to examine him. So yeah, um, after that, she just told me to call her in 30 days and do a follow-up call that she didn't need to see him back. And so I called her in the 30 days and he's off of all of his medicines now and all he takes is the ACE pill, the Spectrum Action Fucoidin. Every day, oh, and the, uh, he does take the Omegas, the Super Omegas as well. I give him one of those every day too. And he's awesome. Excellent. I just appreciate you so much for for helping him. You just don't even know. Wow. You know, I'll tell you what, it's so fun to, to help our, our little best friends. You know, um, I give my dog, I, I was telling somebody today, I give my dog, I was telling my sister actually, I give my dog about a hundred dollars worth of supplements a month. And, uh, and, and man, I just, I just can't imagine if something went wrong there. He's, he's my best buddy. We go, he, we travel together and everything. So just like you and your, your little guy. Right. Right. Well, I mean, his, one of his medicines alone was cost me $225 a month. And he doesn't have to take that anymore. No, oh, absolutely not. I'm not even spending that a month on him now using Sissel products. Wow. And, what, and, and, you know, besides his doctor saying, oh, he's perfect, he's back to normal. I mean, does his doctor say, what'd you give him? I told her. I was like, her doc, she's Dr. Conn. I'm like, Dr. Conn, you can actually treat your, anytime we ever took him and Dexter in, she would always compare him to other um, dogs that had the same issues. <clears throat> and like, I'm like, Dr. Kane, why would you not want to try something natural versus all these harmful pharmaceuticals that, you know, that we're putting into these animals' bodies? Like, and I told her, I said, it's here for you. If you ever want to reach out to me, I would love to share it with you. Um, and she, she told me she appreciated it, and that was it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'll tell you, Kathy, I'm up here with my mom. I'm actually at the hospital visiting her right now. Yesterday, uh, well, a month ago when I was in Australia, she broke, she broke her hip. And she had to come up here, and they had to, they had to replace the, the head and the neck of the femur. And the doctor said, I can't believe that your mom put up with that pain for an, an entire month. Um, and, and, and he said, she doesn't even really have any pain. And, and then he went in and, and did the surgery and he met with me after the surgery. And he said, he said, it was amazing. There was just really no scar tissue in there at all, even though I'd been, uh, she'd been walking on it for a month. And, uh, and, and so when he went and did the, the, uh, surgery, he said, he said, it should heal up really nice. And he said, well, you know, what is, what has she been taking? And so I, I, in between when he was doing the surgery, I ran home and I printed out the article on, on the ripped product. And I, I got some information on, on the uh, age pill and some different things. And I came in and I gave it to him and he, he asked, well, how do I get this? How do I get some more, you know, if I want to give it to patients? So, so, you know, right. gradually, I think the, the world will hear about it and it's stories just like yours. It's stories like my mom's it's stories like Elizabeth and, and Margaret. And, and it takes all of us that are on the call. Now, all of us that are listening to the recording, get this information out, not just to people, but to your doctors as well. And, uh, and I notice it's, it's half past the hour now, uh, Kathy, thanks for sharing. And, and please, um, uh, let me know and update me as things go. Cause I'd, I'd really like to share, um, the story again down the road as your dog just continues to get better and better. And same thing, Elizabeth and, and Margaret, as you, as you all get better, let's, let's share this again. Absolutely. And we appreciate you just know that. All right. Thank you. I, I appreciate all of you. So everybody have a thank great you. night. Enjoy your weekend and, uh, and uh, let's get this out there and, and let people know. I'll get the recording posted on Facebook in just a little bit. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, everyone.